Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with my home kid home and today we're looking at scenes in Apple's home app. If you find the content useful, you know what to do. Let's get started. So, scenes are collections of accessories and actions that are all controlled with one tap of the finger or with a Siri command. So let's look at how to set them up. From our home tab, we'll tap the plus button on the upper right hand corner. As you can see, Apple actually gives us some predetermined scenes that it thinks will be useful for us. The first one being arrive home. So we can change the icon that represents this particular scene by tapping on through all the icon. We can change the name of it if we would like. And here it gives us the different accessories and the actions that it thinks are good. So if we long press, we can see that about 70% brightness with a relatively cool color temperature should be good for when we arrive home. And as you can see, this goes throughout all of the different lights in my particular home. If we look at the good morning scene, then we can do the same thing with our icon and the name. Except here, the action is actually about 30% brightness at a warmer temperature. So. Again, this goes across all of our different accessories. Now, leaving home is a little bit different, right? So here it turns off all the lights and we can trigger this just by simply tapping on the icon itself to trigger it on and off. For me personally, um, when I leave home, if the heater is on, if the air purifier is on, I don't want those to turn off. Um, I want to be able to control that more manually. So what we'll do is we'll add and remove accessories down at the bottom and we'll simply uncheck the two heaters and the air purifier that I have. Okay, and the rest of that should be okay for me. So we'll tap done. And as you can see, it just simply removes those accessories from the scene itself. And as you can see, our scene does pop up there. Now let's look at another way to set up a scene. We'll go to our living room in fact, and we'll tap the plus button at the top right. Once again, click add scene. And if we look here, we have our custom button. So let's go ahead and set up a let's party scene. So what we'll do here is we'll select all of the lights in the living room. And what I'll go ahead and do with these is a long press, turn the brightness all the way up, and we'll just, we'll have a different color for each different light here. So we'll go ahead and do this. As you can see, Apple's home app is actually a bit intuitive, and it understands that this is what I'm going to do, so it kind of fills in those light, those colors for me. Pretty neat feature. And so if we go back to the room now, once this finishes uploading, We'll see that we now have our scene and we can turn it on. We can also turn it off just with one tap of the button. Now Siri can also play in these games like so. Hey let's party. All set. Now something strange does happen when you ask Siri to turn off the scene. Hey Siri, turn off let's party. I can't turn off a scene, but you can ask me to turn on a different one. As we can see there, we've got a bit of a glitch or a bug or a feature, let's call it. To move on to one of the rooms now, we'll add a scene from here. So we'll tap on the same plus button on the top right, tap add scene. This time we'll go for a custom scene. Let's do something like relax. So here in the scene in the bedroom, let's add our humidifier our diffuser and then let's add our lamps as well and we'll set our humidifier here to set to 100 percent so it doesn't turn off we'll worry about a timer later and we want to make sure that our power stays on let's say about 30 percent for all of the lights i think that'll be pretty good there we'll choose a pretty warm color i think and we'll go ahead and do that with all the lights. Except for our mood light, which I think we want to keep purple. A little bit of ambiance to the room. I think you guys have got the hang of this, so let's go ahead and cut away to the end of this whole process. And I fumbled a little bit here. 
Just so you know, we can't use any symbols in the names for our scenes. Now, after tapping done, we can see there's our scene, and once we tap it, it does work. Now, when I did set this scene, I noticed something intriguing. That air purifier there is pretty loud for a relaxing scene, so let's take care of that. So, we'll long press on the scene, we'll tap settings down at the bottom, we'll add and remove accessories because we want to add the air purifier to the scene. And we'll tap on that, we'll tap done. We want to just toggle it off, so we'll tap on that just to make sure that it's off. So now when we tap the scene, you can see that the air purifier turns off as well. So, pretty useful trick there. Well folks, we are running out of time for today, so that wraps up this video on Scenes and Apple's HomeKit. Some really powerful tools we have here. Not only can we control more than one accessory at the same time, but we can also streamline automations with Scenes. There is one other use of Scenes that I did not mention in today's video that you can read about on the blog. If you found this content useful, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up for Bruno the Lazy Puppy who made his first appearance in today's video. And if you'd like to see more of him in the future, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and until next time, this has been Dustin with My Home Kit Home.